Okay, let's further try and interpret this um, geometric, what vector are actually doing geometrically compared to the scalar form or what it might mean. So again, we're gonna look at 2D because that's the shape paper is, but this all applies in general. So a scalar is a one dimensional property. So we're getting some kind of one dimensional answer out. So one thing we're gonna do is make these vectors have a common starting point just so we can get some kind of idea. Okay. Now what we want is some kind of length. Now, if we think back to our number line, if we had a vector of three, i.e. the number three, and a vector of four, i.e. the number four, and multiplied them, we'd end up in the same direction, but 12 away their sizes would combine to get all the way over there. Now, if we think about some kind of perpendicular vectors, that's three and that's four, multiplying us this way doesn't get us any further that way. And multiplying that way doesn't get us any further this way. Uh, so this comes out to be nothing in a scalar because the only thing they share, the only thing they contribute to each other is that direction. So what we're trying to think about here is things multiplying in the same direction. So what one thing we can point where we can think about this is to project B onto A. So we are going to find a perpendicular. They don't need to be the same length. That, that, that came up very neatly there. Let's make that less neat. <laughs> so B has some property in that direction and the rest of it is working in that direction. These two vectors add up to B. Now, if we multiply this here is the size of B cosine theta, the angle in between them for some basic trick because projection is perpendicular. So if we multiply that length by this length, we will get a value, a scalar that is the dot product. So a way to interpret this is it's the multiplication in the same direction, the contribution they have with each other. It also turns out this is fully symmetrical. So if I similarly project A onto B, this section here is going to be A, the size of A, sorry, cosine theta, and the contribution of B in this direction is B, and they again multiply to the same scale. It's a neat symmetrical thing. So it's about projection is one way of interpreting this. It's how much does this thing multiply in the same direction as each other? How much do these things combine in a helpful, productive way rather than a destructive way? Okay, so I hope that adds some illumination to what's going on.